crazy is it if I told you that I just used one eyeshadow to create this stunning smoky eye. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a beginner friendly smoky eye and a flawless base with pretty much no effort. So if you're ready, let's begin. Because we're going for that flawless base, I'm going to start with the hydrating primer. This is the Hydra Booster by Makeup Forever. This is a skin perfecting and softening base. It instantly hydrates and softens your skin. In fact, as soon as you've applied it, your skin feels plump. This is super long lasting and it also adds that luminous finish to your skin. If you are a beginner to makeup, the easiest way to get a flawless base is to use a concealer underneath your foundation. And I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145, which is a true match to my skin. If you haven't watched my in-depth tutorial on concealers, I'm going to link it all the way at the end after this tutorial. So make sure to check it out. As you can see on the rest of the face also, I have hyperpigmentation, I have texture, I have redness and I'm really excited about this new product I got to test out for some time now and I absolutely fell in love with it. One swipe goes a long way. I'm going to apply just to one side of my face so we can compare it with the other. This my friends is so easy to use and so quick and the kind of coverage that it gives is incredible. This is the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet 24 hour blurring and undetectable powder foundation. It's sweat proof and waterproof and I'm using the shade 3N48. As you saw, one swipe goes a long way. The coverage itself is customizable and I love the sponge that they included in this product. If you want full coverage, apply and build with the beige side of the sponge, which is the softer side where it says makeup forever. For medium coverage and touch-ups, use the white side of the sponge. This has a little bit of texture. I'm not sure how much the camera captures, but that is the side you will use for medium coverage. And if you just want to set your face or you want that sheer coverage, you can also apply with a brush, which I'll be showing you right now because I'll be using a deeper shade of this powder foundation as a bronzer. I'm going to be using the shade 4N68 as a bronzer and I'm going to be using a brush for this. I'm going to apply it right above the hollows of my cheekbones and in the circumference of my face and I'm going to be doing it only on my right side so we can compare it with the other. I just want to show you the kind of dimension it adds. This is a buildable foundation. You can use it as a setting powder, you can use it for bronzing, brightening or even for touch-ups. You know that Makeup Forever creates incredible products. Their base makeup and foundations are top of the line used by professionals. I love their eyeliner pencils, especially the Aqua Resist. It's my favorite. I use it so often, as you know. And this is another product that I can add to my favorites list. And I'd like to take this moment to thank Makeup Forever for trusting me as a partner and sponsoring this part of the video and also allowing me to test out the products well in advance. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Matte Setting Powder in areas where I want to bring my features forward. Simply put, I'm highlighting my face. By using it under my eye and in my jawline, I'm going to accentuate my cheekbones. You can see how much dimension there is on my right side, although subtle. It still looks very skin-like, but you can see the dimension. So I'm going to create the same on my left side as well. I'm going to include links to all the products that I've used in this tutorial. So make sure to check that out. My base makeup looks incredible. It's time to set and lock. So I'm going to be using the Professional Super Setter. This is a setting spray by Benefit Cosmetics. I'm using a generous amount to lock my base makeup so it doesn't move. Now that we are set with the base makeup, let's move on to creating that stunning smoky eye. Before that, I'm going to be using the House Labs Precision Edge Brow Pencil in black. 
just to fill in the sparse areas in my brows. I like the fact that this is the micro tip brow pencil. I love micro tip brow pencils because you can draw clean hair like strokes and it looks more natural when you use them. But also keep in mind I have very thick brows to begin with. If you have thinner brows or if you have less hair in your brows, you can also use a pomade. For primer, I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty Weightless Eyeshadow Primer. I love this product, but it dries down fairly quick, so make sure to blend out as soon as you apply it. If I didn't have any eyeshadows and you asked me to invest in one eyeshadow, it would be a black eyeshadow. It is so versatile and you'll see why in just a minute. I'm going to take just a tad bit with a flat shader brush and I'm going to map out my outer C and the crease. Basically, I'm extending my lower lash line going up in the same direction and then joining it to my socket. Just keep in mind while working with black eyeshadows, take less product at a time. If you take too much, then blending becomes a nightmare. Make sure to build up as you go. I'm trying to use it very light handedly and just placing it in that outer C. And then I'm using a clean blending brush without any product on it. And I'm going to start softening this eyeshadow all the way from the outer to the inner corner along the socket line. And then to build up and deepen my crease, I'm taking a little bit more black eyeshadow and again placing it along my socket area. As you can see, I'm slowly building up the eyeshadow and then I'm going to also use it in my lash line to create that smoky liner. All you have to do is take some black eyeshadow and smudge it out in your lash line. And with the residue that's left on the brush, I'm also going to smoke out my lower lash line. Now we've created a structure. We have the outer corner, we have the crease, we have a smoky liner as well as smoked out the lower lash line. I'm going for a cat eye look, so I'm going to deepen the outer corner with a larger blending brush. So I'm taking more of that black eyeshadow and I'm going to smoke it out just in the outer corner to deepen it. I'm pushing some of that black eyeshadow towards the center of the lid so I get that ombre. So it's going to be deepest in the outer corner and as it moves to the center of the lid, it becomes lighter and lighter. In my waterline, again, I'm using one of my favorite products by Makeup Forever. This is the Aqua Resist Pencil in Black. And then I'm taking more of the black eyeshadow with a small angled brush and smudging it right below my waterline. And I'm also going to intensify my liner in my top lash line by stamping that black eyeshadow very close to the lashes. I love the way the smoky eyeshadow is turning out. And of course, you don't have to use a black eyeshadow. You can do this with a brown eyeshadow or any color eyeshadow of your choice. Time to finish up, so I'm going to curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the EXA 1018 Lash Amplifying Mascara. You can also use false eyelashes if you prefer. I'm going to link a video on how to easily apply false eyelashes, even if you're a beginner, right after this video in the end screen. So do check that out. But for now, I'm going to stop at mascara because I want to keep this as beginner friendly as possible. And here is the finished eye look. I am dying. I love this eye look. This is so gorgeous, but I'd love to hear from you. So comment below and let me know. And now let's finish up the rest of the makeup. For blush, I'm going to be using Cheek Clapper. This is by One Size. And I like to apply it on the highest points of my cheekbones to get that lifted look. And it blends beautifully into my base makeup. Absolutely love this whole look, the way it's turning out. And then I'm using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in 706, which is full scale rust to line my lips. So I'm just going to be using it in the borders, lightly shading it inwards, and I'm going to smudge it out with my finger. When you do that, it blends more easily into the lipstick that you'll be using to fill in your lips. And I'm going to fill it in with the Rouge Artist Lipstick in 112, which is Chic Brick. And here's the finished look, a one eyeshadow look with a flawless base. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So comment below and let me know. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like more information on the HD Skin Matte Velvet Blurring Powder, which is sweat proof and waterproof, by the way, I'm going to link everything in the description box. So do check that out. I love you guys so much. And I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.